Welcome to Andy's Game Vault, and we're going to be doing another series in Rome Total War. This time I will be choosing the Scipii family. I'm going to be playing on very hard difficulty for both campaign and battle. And in this campaign, I'm going to make a challenge of using only pre-Marian reform units. So I will be trying to not trigger the Marian reforms and train up as many troops as possible. But once the Marian reforms, if they do get triggered by the other Roman factions, I will not be recruiting any of the Marian reform units. So let's get started. My family, the house of Scipii, are beloved of the gods. A proud boast, but true, all the same. In return, we have served Rome, ruled well, led her armies to glory. It has cost us dearly, despite the love of the gods. Sometimes the hatred of men is stronger. Our dead lie in many graves, put there by Carthaginian swords and a few Greek ones. Even Roman blades have taken Scipii lives. That we do not forget or forgive. So, now our time has come. The spirits of the dead cry out for blood. I will lead our family in this undertaking. The gods will grant us vengeance. When Sicily is Roman, when Carthage is crushed, when the other Roman families are gone, when the world is mine, then I will stand before the gods and be worthy of their love, and worthy to rule Rome. All right, we got our mission to take Syracuse, but that is not going to be my priority. I do want to complete that within the 10 turns, but my priority actually is going to be moving up here, and I want to take Padavium because I want to cut off the Julii uh, from this province because I know it's a pretty fast growing province and I don't want the Julii triggering the Marian reforms. I also, this will also be my gateway into the east into Greece as well to try to cut off the Brutii from getting some high population areas to prevent the Brutii from triggering the Marian reforms. So I'm going to be moving a lot faster in this campaign than I did uh, in any of my previous campaigns. I'm going to be trying to take settlements and expand a lot faster with a lot fewer units. I'm also going to be moving in multiple directions and fighting multiple opponents at the same time. In my last few campaigns, I always tried to limit my wars down to one one enemy at a time. This time I'm going to be trying to I'm going to be going really fast and like attacking multiple enemies at the same time. So, let's get started. So the first thing I want to build in in Capua is I want to get a stables because I need to be getting uh, I want to get equites as soon as possible so that I can have a cavalry force in this army. So and I'm also going to be setting the tax rate at pretty high as well. Although actually maybe not because I need to march these troops out right now. So I've got uh, Gaius Scipio over here. He's going to be leading the attack against Padavium. I'm going to have him march around these hills and get started. We're going to send these two Hastatis with him. And I am going to go ahead and get my spy down here into Syracuse. And I won't... I'm hoping that they'll move their army out of the city and then I can attack them out of the city because I do not want to attack them in the city. And over here I think I'm going to go with a militia barracks in Misana because I can't really recruit anything decent here. I think I will get a peasant. Uh, just to maintain public order so I can march all of my armies out. And Quintus over here. I'm going to move these troops just back in Masana just for now. And I'm going to see if he can build some watchtowers for me. No, I can't get any over here. Uh, probably too close to the fishing village. Let's go over here. I can build a watchtower over here. Keep an eye on Carthage. And build one. Oh, I can't really build one here because I think it's too close to the fishing village. That's fine. So yeah, we'll just keep an eye on them. If they march their troops out, then I will attack. I got my spy in the city. I'm going to bring my diplomat, 
who do I want to trade with first? I'm going to go to war with Greece pretty quickly as well as uh, Carthage. But it would be worthwhile to just get started trading with Carthage for now. Because they will be secondary. So let's just get him out over here. Okay, he's out of moves. And I'm going to just end my turn right now. Looks like we've got some pirates over here. I'll have to deal with them. Uh, but actually, I I actually can't. I don't have any ports to escape to either. Let's get my diplomat out. And I know the city's right here, so let's go ahead and uh, start trading with them. Uh, no, we're not going to pay you money for maps. Uh, we'll make a counter offer. We'll just get trade rights. We basically know where Carthage is. We don't need their maps. All right, uh, maybe I can talk with this guy too. Yeah, let's just do trade rights, see if we can get maps from the Greeks as well. Even though we'll probably <laughs> attack them this turn, so let's not even bother with it. All right, they did move their troops out. That's good news for me. They just got a Hoplites and their faction heir. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with uh, Quintus Scipio. We're not going to waste any time. I need to find their army, so I'm moving my spy out. There they are. And let's go ahead and get back into the city. And I am just going to attack the city and besiege it. And looks like we do have the gates opened. So we're going to go ahead and just take the city this turn. All right, let's go and assault. They just have 223 men. That's their hoplites and their general. He does have 63 guys, so we'll have to be careful of him. Let's go ahead and fight. Okay, I've got my armies divided up into two sections. It looks like they're leaving the gates undefended. I'm going to get my over here. I'm going to get my Hastadis marching up, and we've got their... Uh, General's bodyguard over there. We're gonna go ahead and take these gates as well. So we're just gonna have our guys rushing. Their hoplites are in the town square, so they're not. Yeah, they're not contesting the gates at all. So we'll be fighting in the town square. Yeah, we're getting eaten up pretty badly by these gates. I'm gonna have them take the walls so that we can take the gatehouse. Ouch! Man, get up there. Let's take the gatehouses so we just don't lose all of our guys to the gates. Get up there. Man, they are so slow. They're just going to die out before they actually take the towers. Come on. Go. There we go. Finally, we're moving. Go, 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 go. This is just stupid. They're just standing here. Finally, they were able to take the gates. All right, we got them, the gates captured. Let's move all the rest of our guys inside. Let's get these guys back down. Actually, you know what? I need to take this gate over here as well. So let's have them. Wait, why are we still getting hit by... Oh, we're getting hit by this tower over here. Yeah, we were just getting decimated by these towers. Really couldn't be helped, though. You guys can get down now. So I'm going to try to take them at this intersection over here. And hit them from two different sides. I'm wondering if I'll be able to get some troops to go over here along the wall. I don't know if they'll charge them or not. We definitely want to try to hit these General's bodyguards with as many troops as we can. Okay, looks like they're not coming after me just yet. That's good. Let's get my archers up here. And another group of Hastati like this. And then as soon as my archers start firing, they should charge us. I think I like this. 
we should be able to surround them. If they attack this group over here, of course, it's going to make us take us longer to reach out after them. I mean, they might be able to wipe this unit out. All right. Waiting for my archers to get in place. They should definitely be in range. And then they'll come and charge after me. All right, go ahead and start firing, guys. Here they come. Get my general involved. Let's have my archers taking on their hoplites. We've got their general surrounded. Okay, he's uh, retreating. Let's uh let's get our guys back. Oh, he's coming back for another round. Okay, we got the general. That's good. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. No, General, don't, don't go that way. Get away from him. Wow, my General's bodyguard just got massacred due to bad AI pathfinding. Now, because they're in the town square, I won't be able to get them to route. Uh, don't charge into their spears, please. You guys charge from behind. Alright, I need to get another unit behind them. Let's go ahead and send our general's bodyguard in. Okay, our general's okay for now. Okay, we everyone just charge in. No more missile attacks. General's getting a lot of kills himself. That's always scary to see your general in the front. But I'm not going to pull him off now. It's too late. They're going to fight to the last man because of they're in the town square. All right, well, uh, we did lose 322 guys. Not the best siege, but I think I did all right. And we are going to go ahead and enslave the population. And unfortunately, I won't be able to retrain any of my guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the militia barracks. And I'm, I'm going to have to meet these guys out in the field. But this is not the most powerful army, so I should be okay. And we got that 5,000 denarii. That's really going to help. Early on, uh, that extra money bonus is very helpful. So over here with Gaius Scipio, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the Samnite mercenaries. They're not the best units, but they do have a bonus fighting cavalry. And I think I'm going to need that to take on the Gauls. So we'll get them marching out. I'm also going to send this Hestadi out as well. It looks like we are oh, might have to lower our taxes just a little bit. That's okay. 
And I'm a little worried about this fleet over here. We did take the port in Syracuse, so I'm going to get my navy over here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some peasants over here in Syracuse. Let's raise the taxes just a little bit. I'm going to get my spy out and start uh, taking a look at what Carthage has over here. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Uh, this is a great mission. They want us to take Apollonia. Well, it looks like uh, the Brutii are already going to do that. So, you know, the Brutii almost always get this as their first mission. It's very surprising that the Senate would assign us this mission because I would think that the Brutii would already have this mission. So we've got the Greek army right outside the gates. I'm going to go ahead and attack them. And we've got 801 guys over here. They have a lot of hoplites, some peltists, and their archers. And we're going to go ahead and fight this. All right, so here, here they are. I got my uh, velites and archers up front. I'm going to have them go to loose formation. We're going to go ahead and target their archers right away. And then I want to try to get my infantry to hit them from the side. So we'll have a march over here and just have my general over here behind my archers and velites. See if we can do as much damage to their archers before we get in range. Looks like our archers are in range, doing quite a bit of damage to their archers, that's good. Our velites are going to have troubles getting their throwing their javelins because they have to get so close and there's we're gonna keep them in skirmish mode I don't want them engaging with those hoplites we're doing a quite a number on them let's uh, switch our targets with our velites since they can't really throw their javelins at the archers but they should be able to get those hoplites Moving my peasants forward, they're pretty weak and they could rout at any time, but they actually can be helpful in certain circumstances, so I'm not going to exclude them totally. But i got to keep an eye on them so that they don't rout. Okay, they are firing on my Hastatis. There are 85 of them left. Let's get my Hastatis back away from their archer's range if we can. see if we can hit these archers from the side here with our velites. Okay, I think I can take out their peltist with my general. They're far enough away it's from the hoplites. At least I'll be able to hit them with a bit of a charge. I wish I had a little bit more cavalry than this. Didn't get them all to rout. Okay, I did. Good. I, I was worried they wouldn't rout right away. But they are routing now. And let's just make sure they don't come back. Alright, let's get our general away from them. Let's have my hoplites. Oh wait, where's... Oh, we've got hoplites coming after us, don't we? Interesting. So these guys are separated from the pack. I wonder if I could get my infantry back. Let's get these guys from the back if we can. With our archers. Oh, okay, I can strike their archers now with my general. Doing lots of damage because we're hitting them in the back with our velites and our archers. That's really good. And got them to rout. Let's get 
these guys and then we're out of missiles so let's just form up let's see if I can charge my archers over okay these guys are routed let's see if we can kill them with our general in, the, in case they want to form up again I'm gonna charge my Velites in cuz okay it's cuz these guys are gonna route that's good let's have these guys just form up and just one unit left All right, those guys are basically dead. Let's have our general chase down this other group of uh, hoplites. Uh, are these guys forming up? Uh oh, get general, get away, get away. They're they're not routed yet. Okay, can we run away? Let's have our infantry fire at will. Throw their uh, their javelins. Okay. Stop that, general. Let's get our general velites. Okay, I want type formation. Let's go ahead. Oh, good. They're running away. We got them to route with our uh, pila. That's good. They're routed. We still have one unit. Uh, not routed. We gotta. We gotta take care of this unit real quick. Have them double time. Oh, their general rallied. Go ahead and charge these guys. Good. We got these hoplites routed. Let's get their general again. guys should route there we go the let's chase him down all right pretty good victory we only lost three, 36 guys we killed 789 nice and we get got a command star for Quintus that's really good I'm gonna get my spot over here in the Carthage city watching and waiting and it looks like these pirates have gotten a uh, Admiral, so that's makes them even tougher. Let's get our fleet over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more ships. I guess I'm gonna have to go down to normal taxes. The militia barracks next turn. I want to get my Hastadis over here to Masana. We're gonna have to go to low taxes, but they'll be able to train up next turn. Get another peasant. And I'm gonna get Gaius over here to start moving into uh, Gaul. And get these reinforcements up here to help him out. We are gonna train more Hastati and keep sending them over as much as possible. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Okay, that mission must have failed because they're asking us to t take Lily by them, which is a much more reasonable mission. <laughs> I don't know why they asked us to take Apollonia. That was kind of dumb. But we'll, we'll definitely take Lily by them. I'm going to get a port in Misana. And I want to make sure and have a little bit of a navy before I take on Carthage. 
And I'm getting a port in Capua as well. I want to build up my economy just a little bit. And my navy as well. Okay, I can finally recruit some equity, so we're definitely doing that. And I'm just going to park Gaius over here in the woods and hide him until we can get a little bit more reinforcements. And I'd like to be able to hire some like barbarian mercenaries or especially cavalry. I would really like some cavalry in this army, but that will have to wait. And we do have 10 turns to take Lily by him, so uh, I'm not in a huge rush to take it. Uh, because, yeah, I definitely need a little bit of a navy before I take on Carthage. Because I don't want them to send their elephant riders over here. But we won't wait too long. Let's get another peasant so I can raise taxes over in Syracuse. I'm going to have Quintus go ahead and build a watchtower over here. And unfortunately now I'm going to have to lower taxes. But that's okay. We'll continue to build up our navy. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. I'm going to have this army reinforce Gaius over here. Same with this one. And we'll get... Oh, these two guys. I forgot to send that other Hastati. But that's okay, we'll get them going as well. Get another Equites. And yeah, no no mercenaries available right now. Um, I want to make sure... I think I'm going to have Gaius go sit on this river crossing. I want to make sure that the, the Julii don't beat us to Padavium. Transgression, that's kind of good. Let's see if if I can get them to attack me on this bridge, that'll be to my advantage. Oh, we got another general. Aulis Scipio. And he's a pawn of the gods. And a political animal. So that kind of negates that, but he's popular with the Senate. So, okay. So, I'm kind of low on money so I'm gonna go ahead and get a trader in Syracuse I think I'm ready to go and attack Lily Biome. so I have four ships we're gonna get another one next turn I won't attack this turn I'll get the army set up though I don't see why I should wait so yeah let's get him over here and get these two guys out of Syracuse and we've got another general over here. He can join them. And then, yeah, we'll just march over here. And next turn, I don't want to hire anybody. Next turn, we should be able to hit Lily Biome. Let's get another Hastati. Oh, wow, the Julia over here in uh, Sardinia, over in Carolus. I kind of don't really like that. I want uh, this for myself. So that's unfortunate. But um, it's really a small army. They might not be able to take it. So we'll see. I got to take Lily by him first. And then I can deal with... Uh, I'll, I can go over there and take Careless. But got to continue to build up my fleet as well. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Just going to reinforce Gaius here. Not going to move out just yet. Um, I want to get my cavalry up. Let's see if I can hire any mercenaries. No mercenaries yet. We're reinforcing them with, our, with some equites and more hostilities. They kicked my spy out of the city, but I can get them right back in. And they got their own spy over here. Let's go ahead and attack Lily Biome. Yep. And unfortunately, no, our spy did not get the gates open, but we get, we're going to build two rams and we'll be able to take it next turn. Let's get our navy here to attack their fleet. Let's 
Let's go over here and see if we can see any reinforcements. If they want to bring reinforcements to the island, I need to hit them if I can. And yeah, I'm really low on money. I think I'm going to try to get a lot of these shrines to Vulcan because of the upgrades to the weapons. But yeah, we are completely out of money right now. But we'll get some money taking this city. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. I'm going to get this, uh, these equites to reinforce uh, Gaius over here. We'll leave them on the bridge. Looks like they are expanding out to the east a little bit. Yeah, and we still don't have any money, so we're completely broke. Capua can grow. I think I'm going to have to exterminate Lily Biome over here to get the money. Let's go ahead and assault Lily Biome over here. They only have 206 men. They've got their family member and their skirmishers. And thankfully, no stone walls in this city. All right, I'm going to send my rams forward, take this gate. I'm going to send my archers up as well and just have them firing. They should be able to actually hit the town square. Maybe? We'll see. Where is their general? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Okay. Let's get our archers over here. I'm really hoping our archers can reach them from over here. Doesn't look like it. Nope, we're out of range. But that's okay. We can get into the gates and we... Probably should be able to hit them from over here, maybe, if we could fire over those buildings. Alright, let's get our Hastadis in the gates. Alright, it does look like they are coming after me. It doesn't look like our archers are in range yet, but they are moving out. So I want to hit them over here, try to hit them from the sides. Let's get our archers over here. Have them double time. Okay, we got a few, couple, a handful of skirmishers coming our way. Thinking of uh, having him go around the city and try to hit him from behind. Let's go, General. He's our backup general. All right, they are in range. I'm glad they're not just firing at these two guys up front. They're firing at everybody. All right, uh, looks like he's going a different direction. Oh, their general's being smart. He's going to try to flank us. Let's get our general to charge their skirmishers. Uh, okay. And we need to get some Histadi over here. Deal with their general double time come on okay they're fleeing I was worried about my general being up front but since they're routed I think we're okay okay here comes their general let's get our general other general back okay let's get this general back let's get this guy back I managed to take out those skirmishers. Let's go. Let's get these Hastadis back in formation. And what's he doing? He's just going back to the square. Alright, looks like he is moving out. Let me get this general go around. Okay, he's changing his mind, or no, he is moving out. Let's get these guys to double time, see if we can hit him in the back. Let's have this general double time okay here he comes attack 
no choice but to just charge in. We've got the square. I wonder if that means anything. Well, at least he can't flank us. We are fighting him head on with our Hastadis. He's in the front. We might be able to take him down pretty quickly and get him to rout. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Yeah, we got him to rout because we took the square, and then because we're we took the square. Uh, their enemy, their army is just instantly defeated. So let's go ahead and end the battle. That was pretty this good. We only lost 39 guys. Pretty arms. successful siege. Victory! And I kind of hate to do this so early on, but I definitely need the money. So I'm going to exterminate the population. And we'll get a port here too. Start building up our trade. And they gave us uh, barbarian cavalry unit mercenaries. Okay, okay, that's that's fine. We'll get these guys uh, to join Gaius over here. Get all our armies up. Um, definitely need the money. Let's do a trader in Capua, and I'm gonna recruit peasants so that we can increase our taxes and. Same with Masana, and also getting peasants here. We'll get the sewers in Syracuse, and peasants, and peasants over here too. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to send over my army to Carolus. And uh, get, yeah, send this army out to Carolus. And hopefully they don't send any reinforcements. If they do send reinforcements, hopefully we can get our ship back and, and hit them. This, this group doesn't have any troops in it. And I'd like to do a ceasefire with Greece and get some trade routes going. That would be nice. Hopefully they don't have any armies on this boat. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, they want us to blockade Carthage. We'll try and do that for sure. That's actually good, a good strategy. So let's get our army over Ready here to towards Carolus. The they don't even have walls. So that's gonna be really nice. What do they got over here? Just some town militia and peasants. Very good. And we're able to block the Julii too, great. All right, I got my, I'm gonna try to hit them from two different sides. Let's get my Velites send up, charge out. I don't think they'll be able to get them in time. So let's just move them up here. But we'll be able to hit them, I think, with our archers pretty quickly. So let's get our archers up and our Hastadis, that, and then our general. So they don't have any missiles to hit me back, so I'm just going to go ahead and target their uh, town militia over here. And as well as my Velites. If they come after me, I should be able to run away. At least I hope. You never know with the pathfinding in cities, which is so terrible. Archers are already in range and firing. All right, let's uh, get my archers back. Come on, archers. Get back. Ah. They're able to outrun us. All right, Velites, get back. Oh man, my archer's getting wiped out. Oh, 
general is running Let's get our general in there. No way for a leader to behave. Let's get my Asadi up here. Let's get my general in behind. Let's have them attack. Let's have my general hit their peasants. Come on, Hestadi, help out your general. Everybody just charge this group. Let's go. Oh wow, my general's right up there, but they're just town watch, come on. Get out of there, general. Okay, he gets got some experience. That was dangerous. Okay, good. That wasn't my general. It is time to press the attack. Everybody get in there. Let's finish him off. Okay, I think I can safe to send my general now. Why is he in the front? I should use the rally command to have him hold so he's not in the front. Alright, well we lost 59 guys. That was more than we should have. My four archers, they weren't able to retreat and I lost uh, 48 of them. Other than that, I didn't really take many casualties, but I couldn't get my archers out of there, so it is what it is. Alright, just enslaving this population here get the roads can't really recruit anything we have five turns to take to blockade Car Carthage I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with just a couple of fleets I think he just has 55 or he has 56 so we should be able to win that of course we couldn't sink him but let's get how many does he have? 35 ships. Let's send 80. Let's send these guys after him. 36. Yeah, unfortunately, we just can't sink a fleet. Let's uh have these guys meet up. And I'm just going to continue to build up uh, Gaius's army over here. It's actually looking pretty good. We could get barbarian mercenaries, but those aren't the mercenaries I wanted. I wanted the barbarian cavalry, which I did get for free, but it's going to take a while to get there. And then we'll march out on Padavium probably next turn. I'm going to try to end the war with Greece and see if they'll accept a ceasefire. Nice. Let's try to get some trade rights and maybe maps if they'll do it. Okay, let's just do trade rights then. Okay, that's no good. He doesn't want to do trade. Can I talk Sir, to him again? We'll do trade rights and offer him our maps. How about that? Nope. I guess they don't want to trade with us. That's okay. Um, wow, Broody I have quite a large army over here. They're probably going to expand into Greece, which is kind of... I wanted to move out. I don't like that uh, Gaul has such a large army over here. I don't want to... I hope they can move them out of the city so we can fight them in the fields rather than in their city. We got a couple more reinforcements coming. Well, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.